Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm going to show you guys how to apply the brand new, currently unreleased as of April 21st, 2017. I'll be releasing Forceville Pro to professional detailers on, we'll say it should be ready with no question by May 1st. Uh, it's a product that is a derivative of Infinite Force Field. Um, basically, it's the same chemical makeup. It just has four times per volume the amount of acrylic and the amount of hardener. So it is just a more potent solution that leaves even more slickness and more gloss and should definitely last longer. Now, at this time, when I am going to release the product, all we have as far as longevity uh, testing is Infinite Force Field. Uh, I have been using Force Field Pro for the past three or four months with great, great results. My customers are really happy. Every car I apply it to is super glossy, super slick. Uh, and because of the longevity testing with the same chemical makeup in, in, in Infinite Force Field, this should last about the three year mark by itself. Uh, and then when you use force field boost every six months, once every six months, it should last indefinitely. So with it, with force field boost, uh, you're actually adding back more acrylic than the elements will take away over the time. So um, lasting indefinitely is a pretty good deal. Um, force field pro, the, I have it here in a one ounce bottle. Um, it is unstable in a plastic bottle so it will uh, be shipped in a glass bottle uh, I'll ship it in one ounce increments it'll be $49.99 shipped to your door and the the uh, it won't come with a sprayer is what I'm trying to say it'll come with a dropper you actually put it on the pad here's the Harbor Freight DA and a white buff and shine applicator pad. Uh, this is how I recommend that you apply it. You'll notice that it's overcast today, which is good for this demonstration. Got my cord control clip here. I'm gonna just pop my cord in there so it doesn't drop off my shoulder. Um, but you wanna make sure that the surface is clean, it is clay barred, and you've used stripper juice prior to application or infinite finish or evo all-in-one uh, all three of those have the primer but you can literally and you should use the force field protection system so ghost stripper juice uh, followed by force field pro or infinite force field depending on what level of protection you want uh, and then you should go behind it with force field boost so for this demo, because I don't have the bottles it's going to ship in, I have this uh, plastic spray bottle with a sprayer on it, and I'm just going to I'm going to prime the surface of the pad. I'm going to put the polisher on speed three, and I have already used stripper juice on this vehicle. You can use it on all of the plastic trim. It will protect the trim just like it does the paint. You also can use it on glass. And you can also use it on the wheels. I recommend the four inch pads or a smaller pad than the six inch buff and shine, buff and shine pad if you're gonna use it on the wheels. You can actually, the cool thing about the wheels is because they're such a small surface area, you can actually use it uh, with a microfiber towel on the wheels, just wipe it on. Um, but so I've done that fender.
and it's good to go. So what I recommend at this point is just give it a couple sprays of force field boost. Just go over it, make sure you don't have any high spots. Um, force field pro is slightly more difficult to apply than uh, infinite force field, but neither one of them are really difficult compared to other co coatings on the market. I would say that they're really easy to apply compared to all the other coatings that I've ever used. Um, but that's it. I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's a very similar application process as the infinite force field. Infinite force field is far more forgiving when you're going to apply it with a microfiber. So mist it on a microfiber and wipe it on. Um, force field pro also needs to be applied on a cool surface not a direct sunlight situation, which is definitely the same thing I suggest with infinite force field. But like I said, there are some cases where you can get away with applying infinite force field in direct sunlight, but force field pro, it's not gonna play well with any sunlight or any heat. So, um, well, until after it's applied, in which case it will uh, definitely cure faster if it's sitting in the sun. Uh, Force Field Pro has a one hour, one hour cure time, the same one hour that Infinite Force Field has. It just, like I said, is a little bit more difficult to use, uh, but I believe that I'm putting more effort than I should in saying that it's more difficult to use because it's incredibly easy, as you just saw. Um, nothing to it. Um, because of the angle of the camera right now, I'm gonna move it and just do another demo. Um, because I don't think that you saw everything you needed to see when I just did the fender. So basically, just give you one more shot at it. Harbor Freight DA Speed 3 Force Field Pro. The pad is already primed, but we'll put a little bit more on there. Got my cord control clip. Got to get the uh, cord in there. And I usually do a two by two section. and you wanna go nice and slow. The benefit of applying it by machine is all that extra acrylic and extra hardener, um, the machine's mechanical ability and the extra heat that the machine produces is going to actually help it cure a lot faster. So if you didn't have the machine doing a lot of the extra work to help it cure, to break it, to, to basically push it into the, the pores on the surface and work it in and cure it, it would actually take a lot longer to cure because of the volume of the hardener and the acrylic in the solution. Um, with infinite force field, you don't have to go as slow. You, it, it, like I said, is, is far more forgiving. Um, but that's it. I mean, it's very easy to use. As usual, you spray some force field boost on the surface, wipe it in, making sure that there are no high, high spots. Um, if you go slow, slow and steady with the machine, you won't have any high spots anyway. Uh, you can see them and you can go back over them with the machine. Oh my God, this is slick. This is just ridiculously slick. Um, the gloss is amazing. It's making that flake pop right out at me. I mean, just, Feeling it with the towel versus where I have it done, it's all grabby because of the stripper juice. And uh, over here is super slick. So anyway, Force Field Pro will be available to pro detailers. Um, at this point, I haven't decided whether I'm going to offer it just to licensed pros or if I'm going to put it on the site for sale. The bottom line is, it is far more difficult to deal with. 
if I've got to invoice individual detailers um, and just offer it to pros, um, it's it's so easy to use that it doesn't make any sense that the general public can't have this stuff. And I, 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 I've thought about it a lot. I, the, the reason I really love the Infinite Force Field and why we didn't go with this formula first when we were um, going you know, to launch or when I was going to launch the uh, Infinite Force Field coding system um, is because I wanted, I wanted the ability, just like all my products, I wanted the product to have the ability to be uh, applied in, in the sun or in an environment that wasn't completely ideal. And Force Field Pro is far more picky. It's a far better product for sure, without question. I mean, like I said, four times per volume, the acrylic content and the hardener content. It is a better product. It has more of the good stuff in it than Infinite Force Field. The problem is, I don't know that it's gonna last four times as long. In fact, I know that it won't. Um, will it last longer? Absolutely. There, you know, again, we can, I can show you lab tests up the wazoo, but that doesn't matter. Real life is the experiences that I share with you guys. The things that I know for certain work in the real world. I don't care about lab tests. I think they're all bullshit compared to real world, real world experience. And you've heard me say this a thousand times. The bottom line is force field pro is a far superior product to infinite force field. Is it more difficult to use? Absolutely. Um, would your customer, if you're a pro detailer, know the difference between Infinite Force Field and Force Field Pro when they're, they're going to maintain or they're going to have you maintain regularly with the uh, Force Field Boost? I don't think so. I think that the customer is going to see the same benefit in both. Slickness, gloss, incredible, amazing superior protection to the other coatings on the market. Um, Ease of use doesn't matter unless you're an enthusiast or, you know, if you are an enthusiast, Infinite Force Field, super easy to use. I don't know that you'll see a difference if you are interested in maintaining your car. If you're going to use it yourself, generally those types of people who buy a, 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 a high-end product to use it themselves, they are going to maintain. So I feel like Infinite Force Field is what you need if you're an enthusiast and you want ease of use uh, force field pro is definitely like i said the superior product and if you're an enthusiast who wants the best protection especially from my line um, and you don't mind putting in a little bit more effort force field pro is definitely a, the better option now when it comes to maintenance for both products Infinite Force Field needs to be maintained every other month with Force Field Boost. Just a quick wipe, 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 blah, 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 blah. quick wipe down on the whole vehicle with Force Field Boost um, every other month. So bi-monthly with Infinite Force Field makes it last indefinitely. Uh, like I said, you're adding back more acrylic than the elements are taken away. With Force Field Pro, you only need that same application of Force Field Boost every six months. So twice a year so quite a bit of difference in maintenance um the same application process with force field boost it's no different um it's just i mean and and you could use force field pro and let it ride I, i'm i'm at this point going to guess since i've got two plus years out of the infinite force field application the Force Field Pro application should last at least three years, is what I'm guessing. Um, the other cool thing is with the additional acrylic and hardener, you will get a harder surface. Force Field Pro will absolutely, without question, give you better wash-induced marring resistance than Infinite Force Field. It is far superior on that and gloss and slickness. So it has its benefits. As far as the general consumer, I don't feel like they'd notice a difference. But again, if you show them side by side Infinite Force Field versus Force Field Pro, they're going to pick Pro every time. It is a better product. Um, but the general public 
would never know the difference as far as what it looks like. I mean, it takes a certain type of person, someone who's really interested in it, to really see the benefit in one product over the next. Most people just want clean and shiny, and most products on the market, anywhere you buy them, will achieve that. Uh, so if you want the best of the best, Forceville Pro is it. May 1st, 2017, it'll be ready to go. Again, I'm not sure if I'll sell it to consumers or if I'll sell it to only pros. But again, it's super easy to use. I don't know that it would be an issue to sell it to consumers. So anyway, I might throw it on the site as the, the best of the best in my line. You know, because I've already got that good, better, best situation. Even better than that is even better, right? So anyway, thanks guys. We've got questions, 813-846-4406. Um, and let me know what you think. Um, we still got a couple of weeks before I'll release this stuff. Um, if you're a consumer that, that wants it, let me know you want it. If you're a pro that feels like we should just sell it to pros, let me know that too. Um, I'm willing to hear what you have to say, and you know, based on the community of the Detail Juice Nation, I'm more than happy to throw that in there in the pot and figure out what we can make. So we'll figure it out. Uh, I think ultimately it comes down to if you want something that's better than what's currently out there, Forceville Pro is the answer is what it is. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook. If you're not a part of that, you want to be a part of that, send us a request. We'll get you in there. But just remember, we only talk about my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. And uh, use the cell phone number 813-846-4406. I don't allow comments on my YouTube channel because I want to connect with you guys directly. And if you need me, that's the number to get me on. Thanks again for watching. This has been the Force Field Pro application video. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day. Hey, I just wanted to add real quick. Um, I know I ended the video, but I forgot to tell you one of the more important things. So if an enforced field, as you already know, is a coating, one coating that does every surface from paint to chrome to windows, so glass, wheels, plastic trim, everything. It protects everything. Same exact thing with Force Field Pro, which would, should go without saying because it's the same chemical makeup. It just has more per volume of the important stuff. But as far as any surface goes, I am not, I don't, I make it a point not to try to fool you with marketing trickery like, like the other bullshit that the, uh, a lot of the other manufacturers are doing. Um, bottom line is one coating, every surface, Boom. Done. Just saying.